Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Uzbek Unleashed in Europe Universe House 4. Very, very strong. Kicking ass. It's good. Kicking ass, chewing bubblegum. Justified demands has just expired, apparently. Which is fine. It's fine. We do need to attack the Ottomans at some point in the near future. Also, the truce with Ethiopia is up, yes? So we should be attacking you as well. Well, let's get started on that. Who needs a leader, right? The leader of this army could probably kill Ethiopia. I just love the fact that, again, I know I mentioned it last video, but being as strong as a Western nation, and yet them not being able to Westernize off you is nuts. It's crazy. Like they can't, they can't possibly catch up. They get a neighbor bonus if we're in the same tech group, but a lot of times, because I'm in nomad, the Nomad tech group, I don't think they're even getting a tech bonus from me. So it's very, uh, you know, rinse and repeat, like, army finds a, a holding, uh, a fort to siege down, and once it finishes its siege, it goes and finds an army to kill. And then once it's killed an army or two, then it goes for another fort. Can't actually get down there, huh? Woo, I need military access. Okay, as soon as we get this next administrative idea group, uh, I'm gonna go for influence. Then again, yeah, I mean, the whole point to influence really is the aggressive expansion impact, right? That's what I want. And the diplomatic annexation costs, which in. In, incidentally also increases the speed that you can annex because you have to pay fewer points. So that's nice. Plus the extra diplomatic reputation will just make it even easier to uh, create vassals and integrate them. Now eventually um, we'll have client states. It's 1636 though. I mean client states don't come out until tech 23 and we're, we're, we're there. We're coming. It's coming soon. These are going to take a little while. Okay, um, pretty much everyone in here, I want to separate piece. I don't actually want your land. Not yet. And the war score from battles helps out against the war leader, which we then use to piece out the primary target. Okay, let's siege down your capital so you'll come out. That's Ming and Chu. That's that's the two that we're trying to knock out right now. So we've got them both occupied, or very nearly taken care of. We just lost our com commandant. Actual war leader was Chu, which is you, so we should probably focus on sieging down some more holdings there. Ming, do you want out yet? No, you're going to make me take your capital, huh? Are oh, the sieges going on in Ethiopia? Very nearly done. A leader would be nice. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is just accidentally killing everything. Very convenient. <laughs> it's just accidentally patrolling directly through their armies. This is great. Okay, most of our cores are done. Um, there's a couple, or at least one, that was paused uh, because of Ming.
Min. Oh, shoot. Right, right, right. I need to piece you out. Crap. Here, march on that one. I believe that was uh, one of these Ethiopian sieges. Let's not worry about uh, really fighting the Ethiopians at all. We already have 61 war score because they have so few forts. And of course their sieges don't matter at all. I love the fact that I'm able to expand fast enough that my religious unity is coming down. It's a pretty good sign actually. You're attacking me into the hills, or whatever this is. It's a close fight. I mean, I, I, I can't fault you for trying. It's obviously not going to work, but... That's 87 war score against Ethiopia. We're at 0% uh, overextension. Let's go ahead and just take a big old chunk out of him. Sounds pretty good. Trying to watch my Diplo points. I think we can go up to like 1724 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we're gonna take Admin. We're gonna unlock Influence. We're going to knock out as many influence ideas as we can. There's some aggressive expansion impact, going to be quite nice. And most importantly, that diplomatic reputation and extra diplomatic relations will help us out with having more vassals. And then uh, we don't care about that. And then unjustified demands might make a difference. If we get to the point where we don't care at all about aggressive expansion, we're just attacking everyone, then um, having unjustified demands will help out quite a bit. But more importantly, um, it's just this diplomatic annexation reduction. Uh, apparently that took us to 112.8% on Muscovy. So that should integrate next month. Hey, we accept Russia. Very nice. Okay, we have their crappy army. And there are forts up here. We have a uh, truce with Novgorod? No. And you're allied to Genoa. But Genoa doesn't want to help you. I'm ahead of you on tech. Alright, if you're on medium enthusiasm, that must mean that you want to out, right? Well, you do now. The state stand demand control of territory. Okay, um, you may have this and 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 this. You silly tribes, you may have all kinds of land. It's fine with me. I don't care. You think it bothers me? It doesn't bother me at all. Hold on, before we do that, we have relationship slots. Yes, we have three. Is there any vassal that I can create over here? Because this is all adjacent. We could create Funge. We're at war right now. I think we want to actually, uh... Well, no, hold on, we're doing a diplomatic idea group right now. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and continue to core. We have 99 war score with you, we need a diplomat. So we can piece out Min, separate piece, white piece. With the five-year truce. And now we will piece you out. Not yet. 52 overextension. Now here I could create a vassal. You have cores. What would it cost to just vassalize you directly? You're just barely too large, damn. What if I just took a bunch of land on the assumption that I'd be able to create it? 
I can create Z. I don't think Z is going to border it. Let's just take as much as we can. I'm sure it'll work out just fine, right? It's 100 over extension where the land is. a lot of land. This might work out poorly. We shall see. Right, also the fact that we need to be at peace to be able to create nations. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, well, if we were at peace, I would totally create a nation here. Although there is a gold mine there, that should be very nice. Okay, um, Novgorod, I need you to die. In fact, this war, merchants resented. Yeah, here come the bad events. <laughs> this is not good. How, why do I forget some of the basics of this game, huh? You'd think that after having played it for a very long time. I think we're just going to wipe peace, Novgorod. I don't actually care about this war. And it's actually going to cause a lot of problems if I allow this to continue. So let's win this battle. Which should give us a good chunk of war score. Maybe we can use that to white piece, no? I need you to come back so that I may fight you. Okay, all of these little battles should be worth quite a bit of war score. This one should probably do it. We haven't had any negative um, events, really, yet. Stack wipe, medium enthusiasm, white piece. Done. Create subjects. Z. Only three provinces. Good. I don't care what faith they are. Um, and we will transfer provinces to you. I'm trying to figure out how to keep on this, and I can't find it. I hate clicking like a... like a noob. I do need to have one province down here so that I border more people. This one gives me... I already have borders with you two. Gives me a border with Chu and Min. This one only gives me a border with you. So I guess we want to get rid of this one and just keep this one. So it'll be Heng Yang. It's only seven development. It seems fine. We can't core it though. But in the future it'll allow me to conquer more. I think I'm willing to sit on that overextension. Green separatists? What? Wasn't even aware there was a rebellion. Is there more than one rebellion? Okay, so we have Yan and Z. Um, I'm not going to worry about the Ethiopian cores. We're going to core all that ourselves. We still, I think, need to attack Kilwa at some point again in the near future. Um... One of these armies can probably head south for that. Truce with Hejaz is up very soon. We need to attack the Ottomans. This war with you is bad. Let's prepare for war with the Ottomans, who are on tech 17 to my tech 19, almost 20. That's right, we teched up ahead of time like 7 years, and now we're still... We're 11 years, 10 years ahead of time, we're about ready to tech up. France is on Tech 19. Most of the Western nations are on Tech 19, but I can Tech up to 20. Again, before anyone else can possibly do it. Words are fine. Fairly short truce there. And unrest is pretty manageable. If we get rid of the overextension, we'll be fine. So we just sit and wait for a little bit. Need a truce map mode. 
Can't attack you. You're my vassal. Truce, truce. Okay, our truce with you is up fairly fairly soon. I think we have to attack Orissa. Truce with Korea? No, that's Japan. Hmm. Where'd my navy go? I'm gonna bring the transport fleet all the way over there. We can actually consider attacking Japan. Hmm. Okay, we need to attack a rival. We are allowed to arrival Orissa. Let's just rival Orissa and then just attack Orissa. Cause you know that it's gonna tell me you can't be rival to him. He's not. He's not a rival. That's what it's gonna say. Fairly soon. So we rival them and then attack them right away. And then once we're at war with them, we can't can't be told we're not valid rivals. Take a whole bunch of land from them. Get our uh, power projection really high. Trust the shoe is already up. Okay, declare one shoe. Or is the rivalry thing more important? Have we actually eclipsed, eclipsed Orissa so fast that we have multiple bonuses? I think so. You can invest in military technology. I guess we do, right? I don't even have a truce with you anymore. Either way, we're going to end up at war with both. But by attacking Shu, we can feed it all to Z. At this point, it's not about monarch points. It's really more about um, just giving myself the ability to conquer more than 100% over extension at a time. Alright, so while you're my rival, let's let's attack and gain our power projection, right? You're still my rival? You are. Uh, you know what? I, I think I'm just going to take the tech. I mean, I don't want to do development. We don't need the manpower. I don't really want to roll generals. So whatever, let's just take the tech. Yeah, that's right. We're uh, 22 years ahead of time now. Carnatic, Nepal, Mewar. No point in co-belligerenting, because we just want to take land from Marissa right now. Having the ability to have more military leaders would also be quite nice. Hey look, Ottoman particularists. Good. It'll make their land easier to take. Oh right, the rival of our rival is France, so they should be our friend. Probably should actually finish that mission at some point. Uzbek, South China. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so we take 100, 100 war score off of him. It's going to be years and years till we can use that army there, so let's just march him over. And, uh, you know, actually, probably the same thing with you. Bring you up. We have a few too many armies on this side as well. Also, our income is too high. Alright, cool. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.